folks, and here we are. It's Wednesday, July the 29th, and this is lesson eight with the Kenyan Children's Home, Great Hope Home. So we're just waiting for them to connect over there, then they'll join us right here on Zoom. Hello. 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 God bless everyone. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Amen. How is everyone today? We are fine. Good. Good. So we're just waiting for Pastor Williams to get here. And Paul, are you there um, as the leader today or is Pastor John there? Yes. I'm sorry, my father is not around today also. All right, and there's Pastor Williams. God bless you. God bless you too, Master Pastor Maria. Amen, amen. Amen. Well, amen. it's good. It, it seems like Venesty got here so quickly. Yeah. Wow. Amen. We thank God for today. I'm glad everything is working now smoothly. We are able to join in faster. So, uh, with the children on board and you, uh, maybe we can go ahead and start and begin. So maybe with a lot of prayer, then I let the children take the session and then you will close with the teaching and the prayers. Yes. <clears throat> let us pray. Tuome Pamoja. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. This day is a special day for all of us here, we thank you and we glorify your name. There is no any other name above your name. We give you all the glory for today's session. We honor you, we bless your name. As we begin uh, today's worship service, may you begin with us, Lord, and end with us. In the name of Jesus, I do pray and believe. Somebody say amen. 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 A day on now. Paul, now you can take over and then uh, this time is for you and then we let Pastor Maria to close everything for us. Okay. So thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, it's an honor to meet again. Uh, you are amen. Thank you. 
And that's all we have to say. Yeah. Okay. God bless you all. And certainly to the children, it is always a joy to see you and to hear you. Now, there was some static today, so we missed a little bit of it, but we caught most of the singing. And I want you to know, in looking at you and listening to you, my heart is blessed. Continue to sing with joy and continue to sing to the Lord, the God of your salvation, our God. He will continue to do for you that which you need. He will make a way all the time. And so also thank you for the poem. I caught most of it. And I'm glad that you're learning it. And it's, it's just such an encouragement. So to hear you sing, to hear you give the poem, God bless you real good. Now let's get to our lesson for today. If you would, are you seating? You look like you're still standing. There you are. All right. And certainly, hello to Mom Mary. I think I see her. That's yes, amazing. she's there. I think I have red skirt on. So, mm -hmm. Mom Mary, we greet you. And so, I'm going to give the lesson, and I'm hoping that the sound is clear <laughs> coming from me. So, today, today, you know, we always have an object because objects are like parables. <laughs> You hold them and you use them to teach from. So the object today is, hold on. What's that? This is, what. what is this? Yeah, it's a pillow. It's a pillow. Boys and girls, how many of you have a pillow? We use a pillow for our head, and our neck because we want to be comfortable. We want to get a good rest. If we didn't have the pillow, we would probably hurt our neck. So the pillow gives us good rest. It helps to give our body a good rest. And we need rest. You work during the day, you're in school during the day. You're doing chores during the day. So during the nighttime, your body needs to rest. It needs to recoup, make up strength. And so very much in the same way, the main idea for today through the pillow is that God gives you rest. God gives you rest. You know, in this life, you will have times that are sometimes difficult. Yet God will, watch this, he'll give your soul rest. What do I mean by God will give your soul rest? Well, the soul part of you and me is our emotions, how we feel, how we think. And God gives us rest because sometimes we go through a lot and through the daytime we have a lot of things that we experience. So we need to not only know how to rest naturally, but we have to rest spiritually. So to rest naturally in our beds, we have a pillow. To rest spiritually in this world, we have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now let's go to the word, uh, Bible verse that talks about this. It's found in St. Matthew. St. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, it says this. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, 
and I will give you rest. Jesus is saying that whatever may be heavy, may be difficult to carry, difficult to understand, well, that could, that could make things heavy and it could make things burdensome, too much to carry. So my word to you is, you don't have to carry it. You need to give it to Jesus. You need to rest on Jesus. And the only way to rest on Jesus is to know his word, is to know that Jesus will supply your needs according to his riches in glory. Mm. Jesus knows that you need rest. And so here's something else for you. That when you, boys and girls, everyone, when you learn to rest now, while we are here on the earth, you will rest eternally with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with God. And so we're practicing down here what we are going to experience in heaven. One day we are going to experience heaven if we learn to rest in Jesus. So when you go sleep tonight and you lay down on your pillow, you must also remember that beyond the pillow is Jesus. He is our rest. So I want you to repeat after me. Here's the sentence. Jesus is my rest. Can you say that? Jesus is, Jesus my, rest. is my rest. Beautiful. Say it one more time. Jesus is my rest. Jesus is my rest. All right, all right. You made it through. Good stuff. Um, and so I want you to be encouraged. Keep on singing because I love it. Keep on doing the poetry, learning your scripture verses. And even through the day when you're working and you're doing your chores, you can still rest on Jesus because you have a relationship with him. So boys and girls, be blessed. Be blessed today and always. God has his heart and his eyes towards you. Let me pray for you now. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you. You are our Father. You care for us. God, we can call on you. And Father, one more time, we've spent time with the children uh, and Pastor Williams. Thank you for Paul and Mom Mary. God, most of all, thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and that we can find rest in him. Thank you for the beautiful rest that no matter what is going on, we can rest in Jesus. So God, I ask that you continue to be with the children, with this home, and show yourself mighty and powerful on their behalf. We thank you for meeting needs. We thank you because you will keep them as their heart and mind is upon you. Thank you for our Pastor Williams and his ministry to serve. We pray that you will continue to bless him and his family. In the absence of Pastor John and Lenai and Lenkai, we, we thank you for them. Now, God, we give you all glory, all honor, and all praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone says amen. 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 Pastor William. Thank you so very much, Pastor Maria. It's very, very encouraging. Yes, we need that rest from Jesus Christ. The book of Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come ye that are laboring and you need rest. That is very powerful. Thank you so much. And uh, now we want to thank, uh, to give a special thanks again for you being available for us today.
our network from this side, even my own network, it's a bit low. <laughs> so um, um, I praise the Lord because these kids have been able to pull through. So the hand of God is there today. So Amen. Paul, please say something uh, and then we will close. So um, thank you very much, Pastor Maria and Pastor William. We are very much happy for the, the lesson. It's very much encouraging and it's touching and it's good. It, it acts like in, a, in our normal day to day and it, it, it has been helping us a lot, the prayers and all that you've been doing each and every Wednesday. So may God bless you. And I pray that my prayer is today that God is going to give you more strength more power and more knowledge to continue teaching us because we believe that all that all this which we are doing is not in vain it's helping some souls somewhere so may god bless you very so much and may he expand your boundaries too because we dearly need you at all times we dearly need your prayers we need we need your presence and we need your participation because god is using you in a special way to to administer to us. So may God bless you and may he enable you to do everything to the glory of God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. From all of us here in Africa, Kenya, we love you. We love Bermuda. We Amen. love Shakespeare Worship Center. We love the swim, everything to the glory of God. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you, Pastor Williams. God bless you, children. And we will see you again, God willing, next week, Wednesday. Look forward to it. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 All right. And so today, folks, as you can tell, there was some network. They said the network power was um, low today. But you know what? The message still goes across. I'm still blessed to serve. And again, it continuously allows me to be appreciative for what we have that we take for granted. And so, you know, uh, you that know the work and worth of prayer, remember the Kenyan children, the children's home. And um, if you feel so led, you certainly can see it into this ministry. Um, again, a wonderful joy <laughs> just to know that we can reach from Bermuda to Kenya and indeed um, experience the blessing of being in fellowship with them. It makes a difference. It makes my life um, fuller, more meaningful. Um, you know, when I see those children, I'm, I can't see them clear, clear, clear yet, but I'm clear uh, that I'm here to serve them. Um, they are greater than myself. They are children with a tremendous future um, and can be a tremendous blessing to the kingdom of heaven. And so in serving them, we're serving uh, the future, the purpose of the kingdom, and we're blessed to do so. Thanks again for tuning in with us. Blessings abound.